little more than 26% of people in Tampa were living below the poverty level in 2015, and that's higher than the state average of 21%. And now as Isabel Rosales has the story of how one phone call was the beginning of a Tampa woman uh, changing, you know, her involvement in that stat. 211, an instant connection to the crisis center of Tampa Bay and a second chance. Two years ago, this was Latasha Arrington's final call and last hope. Not knowing how I was going to be able to pay the rent, lights getting turned off, it was that bad. As a bus driver, Latasha doesn't get paid during the summer. The single mother of two just couldn't make the money stretch any further go in the bathroom and just cry or tell them I'm going for a walk and just try to release and let it out. On the brink of homelessness and with $50 to her name, she made the call. Thank you for calling 211. This is Sammy. They listen. Every single word. Everything that I had to say. Staff at the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay call it the community's best kept secret. They are frantic. They are desperate. They are, they're at their wits end. For Latasha, the call was life changing. The center put her in a budgeting class and connected her with much needed resources. They helped me through a tough, traumatic time. And they get up to 2,000 of these calls in just one week. And over the years, the phones here are only getting busier. 70 of those phone calls are individuals that are contemplating taking their own life. The center helps callers get through the toughest of issues, from financial distress to substance abuse, depression, and sexual assault. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. Darkness turned opportunity. You have a roof over your head. You have lights. You have food. Now she's asking others who need help. Dial 211. Reporting for the now, I'm Isabel Rosales.